Hi, I'm Dr. Stephanie Baird. I'm the Registrar and the Chair of the Graduate School of Business at Oklahoma Christian University. And I'm Dr. Virginia Smith, the Associate Chief Academic Officer for Student Success. And uh, we just want to thank you for joining us today. We're going to talk a little bit about Term 2 classes here at Oklahoma Christian University. So I'm going to ask you, Stephanie, Dr. Baird, um, what is a Term 2 class? So Term 2 classes are classes that are shorter courses than they would be for a full semester. They're seven weeks in length. And um, this semester, Spring 22, they start March 7th. And so some of them are hybrid, some of them are online, some of them are in person. We're gonna talk about some of those different options today, but it's basically a short course that starts halfway through the semester, March 7th this semester, and it's still worth the same amount of credit hours as a long course, it's just condensed into that shorter time period. That's really nice. Um, you know, there are a lot of reasons why you might want to take a term two class. Um, perhaps you're in a major and all of a sudden you realize it's not something you want to do for the rest of your life. And so a term two class gives you a chance to um, get into a new class halfway through and try something out that you might be interested in. Or if you already know what it is that you want to major in, you can go ahead and get started in that major and that way you don't lose any time. Um, maybe you're new to OC and you missed the enrollment date or you're a transfer student. Term two classes give you a chance to actually take a full load and get credit for an entire semester here at the university. Maybe you're an athlete who needs to maintain their eligibility, or maybe you need to maintain your eligibility for federal financial aid. So there are a lot of reasons why you might want to um, take a term two class. Maybe you want to get ahead. That's um, what I was going to say. Yeah. Some of our favorite kind of examples of that we see with students utilizing term two classes is they kind of realized their load was lighter than, than they thought it was gonna be, and they have an opportunity to pick up another three hours and maybe move up that graduation date or maybe make sure that a mm -hmm. future term is gonna have a lighter load, and maybe that future term that's gonna now have a lighter load is a good opportunity for them to work or do an internship or something else instead. So they kind of have the opportunity to move that class to a different time. That is such a great idea yeah. and something that I hope a lot of students take advantage of. Dr. Baird, you're the registrar. Yeah. Um, what term two classes are being offered? So we actually have term two classes for a lot of different types of programs. Our undergraduate traditional programs have term two classes. Our graduate programs um, have actually almost always had a robust offering of term one and term two classes. And so in our graduate programs, that means that students can start <coughs> at six or seven different entry points in the year. Um, Dr. Smith and I have worked really hard to kind of enhance our traditional term two offerings for the traditional undergraduate coursework so that undergraduate students have those same options. Um, and then our new college, of course, has term two classes as well. So as far as undergraduate, uh, traditional undergraduate courses go, we've got elective Bible, we've got English Comp 1 and 2, um, we have world music, we have a Gen Psych 2 class on the schedule this semester, lots of Gen Eds, and then we have several cross-listed computer science and engineering classes. So those are really good options for um, engineering and computer science students as well. And those are relatively new. That was, yeah. kind of, that was kind of interesting to me to see those kind of come up on the term two schedule as well. Yeah, and a lot of students might worry about adding a term two class because the semester is halfway underway mm -hmm. and they feel like they're jumping into a class midterm even though that's when it starts. So Dr. Smith, you work with our Student Success Center. Mm -hmm. What are kind of tutoring and academic support opportunities that are available to students that are thinking of joining a term two class? Well, we offer a lot of tutoring and mentoring choices at the Student Success Center, um, the same amount as we do for regular term classes. The Student Success Center is actually located on the second floor of the library, kind of down the hallway from the brew. And so we offer um, actual drop-in tutoring for a wide variety of subject matters. And those drop-in tutoring hours are nine to four every day, Monday through Friday. And we offer drop-in tutoring in, oh my goodness, a lot of different classes like math and science and DFEQ and computer science. and and um, just all sorts of different classes like that that you would, physics, um, I don't want to forget physics or programming. Um, so if the individual, if the drop-in tutoring times don't work for you, you can also get an individual tutor. And so we have a complete staff of individual tutors in a lot of different subject areas. And you just sign up for a time and we get you an individual tutor and you can work it out that way. 
So um, New College also offers tutoring, and they offer it in kind of a unique way. They actually embed the tutor in their online classes through the Blackboard, and so the students, if you need um, to speak with a tutor, the tutor's right there in class with you. Um, this, the tutor also then keeps track of how you're doing and will reach out to those students who are struggling and uh, get them help right away. So New College also offers robust tutoring. So speaking of New College, Dr. Yeah. Bear, um, what type of classes does New College offer? So New College offers a lot of Term 2 classes. Um, they offer uh, most of their programs online, um, but their key classes that they offer in Term 2 are Bible, American Government, English Comp 1 and 2, Speech, um, Education, Math, Nursing, Developmental Psych, Spanish. Mm -hmm. um, so again, several of those general education requirements, but also a lot of things that are emphases for majors that are offered through the new college programs as well. Um, so yeah, that's, and I like to bring up the student success piece because I think that's a concern for students is that they're not going to have the same academic support for a term two class that they do for a, a class that runs the full semester. And that's not the case. We've got some no. built-in systems to help students with those courses as well. We don't want to leave any student behind and so that's why we try to keep an eye on this situation and make sure that a lot of options are available. Dr. Baird, how does a student register for a Term 2 class? Yeah, there's a couple different ways that a student can get enrolled in a Term 2 class if they're interested. For our traditional undergraduate students, they can go to the Student Advocacy Center in Cogswell Alexander Hall on our OC campus, or they can email registrar at oc.edu. Um, they can also, of course, talk to an advisor or someone in their area who can help them find out about offerings or they can physically go to the registrar's office in the Student Advocacy Center as well. Um, graduate students can reach out to their support personnel in the different graduate programs, and new students can actually fill out an application to come to OC starting at that Term 2 um, date, which again is March 7th. And so students can just go to oc.edu slash apply and start that application. So lots of ways for that to happen. Um, Dr. Smith, if someone is in new college mm -hmm. and they're interested in Term 2 classes, who are some important people that they can connect with for that? Well, much like the regular student is, if you are new or you are a transfer student, you can reach out to Brittany Nixon, and she actually is, we're in the admissions office mm -hmm. right now, Brittany office is here, and you can email her at brittany.nixon, B-R-I-T-T-N-E-Y dot Nixon, N-I-X-O-N, at O-C dot E-D-U, and if you are, um, a returning student to New College, you've been in New College for a while, you know Dr. Bethany Becknell, and she would be a great person to reach out, and she, um, her office is on the third floor of the library in the North Institute, and her email address is Bethany, B-E-T-H-A-N-Y dot Becknell, B-E-K-N-N-E-L-L, -L, at oc.edu. And Dr. Becknell is great. She has a lot of experience in helping students with their schedules, and she is intimately aware of all the inner workings of New College and actually can help with the tutoring as well. Yeah. So. Well, we hope that this information is helpful to you. If you're interested in Term 2 classes or you're thinking of applying to OC to start at our Term 2 date of March 7th, uh, we appreciate you tuning in and we hope to see you on campus or via email, virtually, something like that sometime soon. Thanks. <laughs>